Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So we've just had reports a couple of hours ago that fire has been shot on an Israeli vehicle from Jordan. The official reports coming out from Israel from multiple media sources are that a person or a group of people shot from the Israeli, from, from within the Jordanian, excuse me, borders on Israel. They did not invade the Israeli territory. They were in Jordan, but they did shoot at Israeli vehicles and they targeted them. They hit them. Israel didn't report that there were any Israeli casualties, but this attack is unprecedented during this genocide. We haven't seen someone carrying out an attack in this manner from Jordan. This raises a lot of questions. Number one, how were they able to reach the borders? From a Jordanian perspective, you have very thorough checkpoints in every single part of Jordan that is close to the Israeli border. So let me give you an example. Even if you're a Jordanian and you own land that is close to the Israeli-Jordanian borders, you have to be checked before you go to your own land. Even if you have a farm, if you have whatever it is, you can't simply go there. They check you, they sometimes take eye scans, fingerprints, everything before you go there. Clearly, this person had infiltrated something, passed through security, or was allowed to carry out this attack. This is another argument. If he was allowed to carry out this attack, it's potentially because the government knew that the attack would be limited and it could potentially diffuse some of the rage that's been going on, on the in the Jordanian streets against the Jordanian complicity when it comes to transferring the aid to Israel and them still even having relations with Israel after six months of genocide. However, what this is highlighting now is that Israel is on the highest alert possible on all fronts. Front in Gaza, six months. Lebanon, six months as well, with an increased risk now after this assassination. There, oh, there's always also tension in the Golan Heights with the Egyptians as well on the Egyptian border and with Jordan. Israel is feeling the tension from all parts and it's not looking like it's these tensions are going down anytime soon this was just a quick update that i wanted to give you and i will obviously notify you for any further developments and i'll see you soon in the next video take care